Israel's missile defense system, the Iron Dome, was stretched to its limit in the early hours of the Hamas attack as it tried to fend off thousands of rockets. The military claims it has a more than 90 percent success rate. The Iron Dome is a land-based system that intercepts and destroys short-range rockets and mortars. It's powered by missile defense batteries, and it has been a mainstay of Israel's defense force since 2011. That's when it first shot down a Grad rocket fired from Gaza into the Israeli city of Ashkelon. The system is highly transportable and can be set up in a few hours. So how does it actually work? A radar unit detects incoming rockets within 4 to 70 kilometers. Up to 1,100 separate targets can be tracked. The system then relays information about the shell's speed and trajectory to the command and control center, which then calculates whether the rocket is going to hit inhabited areas. If affirmative, a rocket is fired from the launcher, which has 20 Tamir interceptor missiles. Each battery of the Iron Dome consists of three to four launchers. It's designed to defend an area of 150 square kilometers. A direct interception sounds like a loud bang and can sometimes be felt from the ground. These missiles destroy any incoming projectile by exploding near it. The goal is to achieve the intercept far away from populated areas so as to minimize debris. As the system is designed to counter shorter range, slower moving rockets, the ammunition the Iron Dome uses is relatively inexpensive. It's said to cost around forty to fifty thousand dollars, whereas the U.S.'s Patriot missile costs more than four million dollars each. The Iron Dome is partly funded by U.S. military aid to Israel. It's developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and U.S. military contractor Raytheon Technologies.